Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the African mask plant. The African mask, commonly known as Elocasia amazonica or elephant ear plant, grows from rhizomes, producing broad heart-shaped narrow leaves up to two feet in length. The leaf blades are dark green with thick white or silver veins running throughout the leaves. It is grown across the world as an ornamental houseplant because of its dramatic form and foliage coloration. It's low maintenance and has few needs for day-to-day -day care. Here's how to get started. It needs bright, indirect light to grow. Therefore, it should be kept in an area where it can get filtered sunlight for at least six hours per day. Full sun will scorch the leaves, and too much shade will slow the growth. You can keep this plant indoors year-round in a suitable location or move it outdoors to a patio or deck in the summer months. The plant needs to be watered frequently in the summer, but much less so in winter. Keep the soil moist but not wet. These plants are also prone to root rot. This plant requires a warm climate to thrive. Therefore, it should be kept in an environment where the temperature is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature gets too cold below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the plant will begin to show signs of being unhealthy. African mask requires high humidity levels to thrive. You can increase the humidity level for your plant by placing it in a room with a humidifier or by misting it regularly. You can also place a water tray filled with pebbles under the plant to combat air dryness. These plants need regular fertilization to stay healthy and grow well. You can use a general-purpose liquid fertilizer for these plants. Fertilize the plant every two weeks during the growing season. You can propagate these plants by using divisions, seeds, or stem cuttings. To propagate by division, divide the rhizomes when the plant enters the growth phase. Replant them in moist soil and keep them well watered. To propagate by seeds, so the seeds in pots or trays filled with moist potting soil. Cover the seeds with a thin layer of soil and keep the soil moist until they germinate. To propagate by stem cuttings, pick a healthy stem about four inches in length and cut it off from the base. Plant in a fresh pot, water well and wait for the roots to grow. When potting this plant, be sure to use a pot with a drainage hole. The plant prefers moist soil and hates getting waterlogged, so the potting mix needs to be well draining. When potting or repotting, it's best to use a pot that is only one size larger than the previous pot. The plant is moderately toxic. The sap contains toxins that can cause skin irritations and rashes. In addition, the plant can cause mouth sores, throat irritation, and difficulty swallowing if ingested. Scale insects, spider mites, and mealybugs can sometimes infect these plants. You can deal with all of these pests using regular applications of insecticidal soap. 